Let's roll. A cell sees a cell with the same job. They work together and become a tissue. The tissue meets the tissue with the same job. Now they become an organ. Organs are made up of tissues. Organs work together in a system. Bones are found in the skeletal. And this song is about those bones. Toe bone connected to your foot bone, your foot bone's connected to your heel bone, your heel bone's connected to your ankle bone, and they're all a part of the skeletal system. Your ankle bone's connected to your leg bone, your leg bone's connected to your knee bone, your knee bone's connected to your thigh bone, and they're all a part of the skeletal system. Your thigh bone's connected to your hip bone. Your hip bone's connected to your back bone. Your back bone's connected to your shoulder bone. And they're all a part of the skeletal system. Time to get up and move your bones. Time to get up and go to school. Time to get up and learn from the science crew. Oh, oh, hello guys, um, Amoeba here, um, so you caught me in the middle of my lunch, uh, but I guess I can take a second and explain that I'm an amoeba, I am a unicellular organism, and as you can see, my pseudopods hanging out all around me are one of my most important aspects of being an amoeba, they help me eat, move, and change shapes, so I'm gonna finish my lunch guys, see you later! It's your girl, Miss B E E E E E, -E. and I'm here with another vlog. Today we're talking all things beauty. Okay, we're talking about our lovely, clear, moisturized skin, right? So, the integumentary root system, as scientists call it, um, is an organ system consisting of skin, hair, nails and your exocrine glands, okay? Um, you have a couple of different layers of your skin, but today we're gonna start with decorating our uh, top layer of our skin, right? <clears throat> and our top layer of our skin is called the epidermis. That is layer number one. The epidermis is where we're gonna add our beautiful makeup supplies to today, okay? So um, the epidermis is the most superficial layer, so layers you can see, right? Um, it covers the entire body surface, including your face, your neck, your bo upper body, lower body, arms, legs, all that, right? Um, and then it's made of specialized cells, you know, made of different specialized cells. Almost 90% of the epidermis is made of keratinocytes, okay? Keratinocytes, they develop from stem cells um, at the base of the epidermis and begin to produce and store a protein called keratin. What is keratin? Keratin helps our nails to grow long. It helps our hair to grow long. It helps keep our skin uh, reproducing at a nice rate, okay? So I'm gonna start with adding a layer of my MAC to my face, okay? All right? So the next layer is our dermis. Okay, so this is the deep layer found under our epidermis, which is what we can see. It's mostly made of dense, irregular connective tissue, along with nervous tissue, blood, and blood vessels. Um, it's very, it's much thicker than the epidermis, and it gives skin what? Elasticity. Elasticity. It's the ability to bounce back into layer. It's going to be our hypodermis. Hypo. So everybody knows hypo means under, right? Um, deep to the dermis 
is the layer of loose connective tissues known as the hypodermis, okay, or the subcutaneous tissue. Um, this is the connection between the skin and the underlying muscle. So this is where your muscle and your skin kind of meet together. And that's also where you get your cheeks from, right? Right? That deep layer in there is the hypodermis made up of fatty tissue. Okay, guys? Awesome. All right. Along with the integumentary system, we can't just think about our skin. We have to think about everything, right? So we have to think about our hair. So Miss B just got her hair, her hair did, you know what I'm saying? A little blonde action right here. Okay. Um, a hair is an accessory uh, organ of the skin made of columns of tightly packed dead keratinocytes found in most regions of the body. So a few of the hairless parts of the body include the palm of the surface of our hands. You have no hair there. Your feet, your lips. All right. Um, hair helps to protect the body's UV radiation as, as well as your skin. All right. Um, by preventing sunlight from striking the skin on top of our head. All right. And also on different parts of our body parts, like your arms and your legs. Um, hair also insulates the body by trapping warm air around the skin. Um, the third part of our integumentary system is our nails. All right, so I got some claws on today, guys. Uh, nails are an accessory organ of the skin made of sheets of hardened keratinocytes and found in the distal ends of our fingers and our toes, right? Fingernails and toenails reinforce and protect the ends of the digits and are used for scraping and manipulating small objects. So that's what they are made to do, okay? Um, nails grow from a deep layer of our epidermal tissue known as the nail matrix. It starts kind of down here, right? Um, which surrounds the nail root, right? So our integumentary system consists of our skin, our hair, and our nails, okay? So today, all we did was put a little bit of um, MAC, you know, put a little bit of MAC on our epidermis. When I smile, you see my hypodermis, the fatty part. And the dermis, you really can't see, right? You can't really see the dermis, but it is there. It's right under our epidermis. We need to drink water and mind our business, guys. Because that's how we stay glowing. Once again, it's your girl, Miss B E E E E. E -E. Peace out, guys.